Corinthians 1.10. <clears throat> that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time which means when the world has been evangelized and the church is complete, it's going to be the fullness of times. It's going to be the end for some, but it's just the beginning, you see. It's just the beginning because there's never an end because our Lord is infinite. So in the fullness of times, when Jesus comes, he's going to gather all things together. All things, one with Christ. He's going to come and get his church. Both which are in heaven, which are the saints. And which are on earth, which is the remnant. The church is the remnant. Even in him, even in him, those that are in him, in whom we also have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worked all things after the counsel of his own will. We have also have obtained and inheritance as sons of God. We inherit the kingdom of heaven. We inherit Jesus and all the gifts that he gives us. It's an inheritance, a treasure. Scripture says, store up not your treasures in this world because they are meaningless. They are just temporary. Store up your treasures in heaven. How do you do that? By following Christ Jesus and being obedient to Christ Jesus. That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. That we should be to the praise of his glory. Was trusted in Christ. We trusted in Christ. We trusted in Christ. And we received the gifts and the treasures. We have the inheritance to the praise of His glory, not the world, because Scripture says we are saved by grace through faith so that no man may boast, not of our own works, so that no man may boast. Amen. Y'all have a blessed day. I hope this scripture helps somebody today. Thanks for watching.